So as you can probably tell from the title of this video, why I started enforcing a no-show policy in my coaching business, um, first of all, this is what we're going to talk about, and I'm going to explain to you the reasoning behind it and why I think that you should do the same whether you're holding a service business or, um, you know, private practice. And obviously, if you have a coaching business yourself and you're not sure on, you know, whether I'm going to lose this client and the, the, I might lose money on it or whatever. So when I first started, and this is something that, you know, happened with this uh, coaching business that I'm running. Um, I started a few months ago. And at the beginning, I think my initial thought or um, validation was really seeing that the type of service and the quality of service that the clients are getting is really worth it. And so I approached the whole thing much more hesitant and, and, and way more uncertain of myself and my services and whether it's really as good as I'm visioning it and picturing it in my head. And so the whole outlook on the situation was the same few months forward now i'm at the point where i know for a fact that i have the best coaching business program for home service business owners i know it for a fact by the reviews by the testimonials by the type of value people are getting by the type of response i'm getting from from the people inside the course and so i know that the business owners themselves need me more than I need them. Now, I wouldn't have enforced this if I haven't got to a stage where I'm, I have my marketing, um, you know, machine running where I know constantly that I can get these amount of leads and I can make this amount of money every month. Again, if I, if I wasn't sure of it, I might have not enforced it, but I am at this stage. And so if you're not sure, ah, Lior, I know, I don't know if, if I can do it or not, I get it. And I, and I totally, totally, totally support you. Not because I think that you'll be wrong to enforce it, just because subconsciously you won't be able to really hold up and really, you know, feel like I can do it with a clear mind and a clear heart. So I think that if you have really the stamina and if, if you are able to really go through and basically enforce a no-show um policy where if someone's not coming to your scheduled meeting there is no option for rescheduling if there it's a last minute cancellation or something like that this and guys it's done if you're able to do it and you're good in poker and like you you know how to go all in even if you if you have a, a two three in hand if you're able to do it good for you I personally knew that I couldn't because I needed this amount of money and not just the money, but more of the validation at the first stages uh, to really be 100% positive that I'm over delivering over what they're getting. And so I'm in the position of power, which is another point especially in your, if you're in a coaching world and coaching business, you must be in a position of power over the conversation and need to control the narrative and need to control the, the conversation if you want to, to really win the client. Otherwise, forget about it. 
And this, this level of conviction only gets after you've done the work, you've delivered the promise, you actually seeing that your material is working and the clients are getting what you promised and maybe even more. But the no-show is super, super valuable, not just from an ego standpoint, but also like building this um, power dynamic with the clients. Like, hey guys, if you're not showing up for this meeting, you're not worth my time. My time is valuable. I'm right now at the point where if these guys that are not showing up to the, to the meeting are canceling last minute or not showing up, I'm losing money because other people might have booked this time and I might have closed them. And this brings me up to the next point. And this is something that I've not yet started, but I now talk to my VA and I'm going to have the, her start reaching out to those prospects who've booked a call and confirm with them that they understand, first of all, that it's a coaching call. And if they're going on a call with me, that first I'm going to teach them how to generate the leads themselves. And I'm not doing the, uh, I'm not an agency, you know, generating leads for the home service businesses. So this is number one, clarity over what the call is about. Number two, have them know that they will need to make a decision by the end of the call. It's super important because a lot of times people are coming with just, ah, I want to hear what that. I help those people bridge the gap and help them close most of them during the call. But she will reinforce that this is what's going to happen in the call. And third, that if they're not showing up, they will lose the opportunity of ever working with me. So they need to know that they need to show up if they're actually um, mean business and they want to grow their business. And so this is just my thought for today. And again, it's, it's so easy to be a content creator, how I feel and how I view it today, where you see there's not much fancy uh, going on, uh, background going on, and there, there won't be almost no editing to this video because content is king. And so what I deliver is what I experience myself. So if you're a content creator, or if you're thinking about content uh, creation on YouTube or other platform, all you need to do is just talk about what's happening in your day. And so I brought a little bit about my VA stuff and, you know, like content creation, but the main thing is a no-show policy. And so I think, again, super valuable, especially with creating this power dynamic between you and the prospect because you will need to control the narrative and control the conversation if you want to close. And you want to close. That's the, that you don't want to make new friends. You're not there to entertain them. You're not there to uh, uh, give free advice. You dare to close them in hopes of helping them with their business. And that can only be done through the program that you're running or the service that you're offering. That's it. My name is Lior Vaknin. Um, I hope you find this video useful. If you did, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. Give me in the reviews what you think about a no-show policy and whether you're enforcing it. And if not, what are the stories you're telling to yourself about why you're not doing it within your business. And that's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. And that's it. Peace. Bye. Shalom.